destiny. Welcome to Megaton. Please stand clear of the gate. I'll be there. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. So that's the way it's gonna be, huh? That's fine. That's fine. Just as long as we understand each other. This here is my town. These are my people. You so much as breathe wrong, and I'm gonna fucking end ya. You got something you wanna prove, boy? I think you're suicidal. Try me. I've got my eye on you, Drifter. Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Sure thing, partner. What do you need to find? Our clinic is down in the crater, by the bomb. Doc Church is a little rough around the edges, but the man's got talent and compassion. You'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Makes some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. Sure is. Moriorities. The entrance is on the top level, opposite the main gate. Just be careful. Moriority is not your friend, no matter what he may say. So don't fall for his lies, and for God's sake, don't trust the man. Moira sells all kinds of stuff at her place. Crater side supply. Take a guess where it is. <laughs> Up at Moriarty's at the south end of town. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. Sure thing. What's on your mind? It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements, too, spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south, you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to D.C. The place is a war zone. What do you want to know? 
The town's named after the bomb that's sitting in the middle of it. It hasn't gone off yet. All right, what's on your mind? What do you want to know? Yep, he's a bit cranky, but he means well. Just make sure there's something actually wrong with you before you bother him. You'll find him down in the plaza at the bottom of the hill, across the way from the Brass Lantern. Sure. Head over to Moriarty's for spirits, or, if you want something to eat, head over to the Brass Lantern. All right, shoot. Mind you. Got my eye on you. What do you want? The town's named after... Maybe. Maybe. So long as you stay away from the bomb, I see my chances of a long life improving. I hope we understand each other. Oh really? Is that so? You may not think much of this town. But you're a guest in my home, and I advise you to behave as such. I hope I've made myself perfectly clear. What do you want? The... It's not like the place was put up overnight. Megaton's been here for decades. Been growing and growing ever since. Started out as a small settlement of people trying to get into Vault 101. When they were denied, they stuck around here. Some of them started worshipping the thing like a god. Now we've got a whole goddamn church. They're nuts, no doubt, but mostly harmless. By now, most people don't give a shit. They figure if it ain't gone off by now, it never will. I respectfully disagree. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Not an option, I'm afraid. We aren't exactly rolling in cash down here. You're the one that brought it up. Yeah? What about it? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? Do you think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Oh, all right. Fine. If you get the job... Not an option, I'm afraid. We aren't exactly...
Good to see you're staying out. What? What? Not an option, I'm afraid. Yeah? You need something? Let the men, women, Ha! Ah, look at this! New blood! Tell me, boy. You ever hear of the Enclave? The last remnant of the good old USA they are. Now I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged for a patriot, and any patriot worth his salt is gonna toss his gun in for the Enclave. Any day now, they're gonna roll up here, and then this nightmare will be over for good. But listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? Could be the guy I saw at Moriarty's saloon not too long ago. I'd ask there. Why? Why? Look around you! This is the good old USA. Sure, she looks a little bit different these days, but you're still on American soil. And even if you were born in some underground vault, you were born under the United States, which makes you an American. And it's your duty and my duty to support our country and our president, no matter what. Understand? Why, that's unthinkable! Where in the Constitution does it say that we're supposed to run around questioning the government, huh? Well, when you put it that way, wait, you're just trying to confuse me with your fancy vault education and your textbooks. I'll have none of it. Did you have something else you wanted to ask, or were you done with your crazy talk? They're on the radio. They have been for years. President Eden talks about everything they're doing. They got flying robots all around watching everything so they know what to do when they finally swoop in and clean this place up. You'll see. People think I'm just a crazy old man. Things will be different when the Enclave gets here. They're the American government. The Eagle. People come a-weeva. The more perfect union. I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. God bless the Enclave. The children of the earth come forth to gather and behold the power of Adam. Let those who dwell here in his favored land attend. Now I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Some people hate this place, but I guess that's their right. But what the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. 
I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? Hey, I won't say it's all fresh, but it'll keep you going. Remember us if you need something. Now to the words of the prophet of Atom. Ah, oh, look. Another one of you wasteland assholes. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. It was a real bastard back then. But I've put all that behind me. What? Back out where? I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. You know, I do miss it sometimes. It's a life of freedom, you know? But come on, I'm a washed-up old raider. What crew is gonna take me on? These kids don't know nothing about respect. Yeah. Thanks. I guess. None of your fucking business. Well, now, that's something I didn't expect. You're scrappy for a little vault twerp, aren't you? Maybe I had you wrong, kid. You're okay. Now, what did you want to know? I've said just about all I'm going to say about that. Me? <laughs> I don't do a damn thing. Well... Unless you count staying pissed drunk and making Moriarty rich as something. Sure, I'm the best shot in town with a rifle, so everyone comes running to old Jericho when the raiders show up. But between raids, they're content to take my money and drag me home when I've had too much. <laughs> a little drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. Whoa, 20 caps. Look at the big spender. All right then, I can see you're in it for the big money. So I'll tell you all about Moriarty's. Moriarty, he's a rat fuck bastard for sure. But he's also paranoid as all hell. So paranoid that he don't let no one handle the cash around here. Every night he takes what Gob and Nova earn and locks it in a file cabinet next to his bed. It's dangling around Colin's neck. Get it, if you can. My Robin days are over, kid. I'm just here to drink and stink. He'll probably blow your head off. That is, unless you can draw faster than a pissed off Irishman. Anytime. It'll be worth it to see the look on that asshole's face. Remember what I told you, kid. Moriarty keeps his money locked up right next to his bed. Come back if you need something. Come forth and drink the waters of the glow. For this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. 
It is the very symbol of Atom's glory. Let it serve as a reminder of the division. You looking to trade, stranger? Check out Crater Site Supply. The of the promise of our division in the times to come. Give your bodies to Atom, my friends. Release yourself to his power. Feel his glow and be divided. There shall be no tears, no sorrows, no suffering. For in the division, we shall see our release from the pain and hardships of this world. Who have we here? Could it be? A new addition to our humble little community? Dear child, welcome. Welcome to Megaton. I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the Undying Glow. Please, child, come to the church any time, any time at all. Yes, what would you like to know? The Church of the Children of Atom is based on the idea that each single atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire universe. When that atomic mass is split, a single universe divides and becomes two, thus signifying the single greatest act of Atom's creation. Occasionally, a divine event occurs, and trillions upon trillions of new universes are created. The last such event took place here, 200 years ago, where most of the lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation, we see creation and unification in Atom's glow. Those who were called to Atom during the Great Division were very fortunate. They were permitted to aid in the process of Atom's creation. We seek the same, both in symbol and in fact, and the bomb, as you call it, represents Atom's capacity for creation. We kneel before it and ask that Atom call us to aid him. We pray that out of our meager bodies, he will create new life. Even knowing the truth, you continue to mock us. How very, very sad. As you wish. Why, yes, we do. How much would you like to donate? Very well. In my youth, I traveled quite a bit, but that was a different life. I assume that you are seeking information and advice, yes? The only advice that I can offer is this. You will find no wealth in the wasteland greater than that which you will find within yourself. Bask in Atom's glow, and you will understand. Megaton, Atom's sacred village. He has chosen this place for the site of his shrine, and we have been called. Outsiders ask us, why did you build a town around a bomb? To them I say, the bomb brings the promise of division and the gift of the glow. The bomb is us. The bomb is atom. And thus, we are atom, awaiting the day in which each of us gives birth to a trillion new lives. News? My friend... I take effort not to be involved in such worldly business. Earthly pursuits distract from Atom. Of course, now that you mentioned it, I've noticed that Moira has hired a mercenary to protect her goods. The man never sleeps, so they say. In each our own... What do you wish?
If you need to buy something, more up in Crater Side Supply can help. He you. is coming out, with the clouds. Different. And every eye what, shall be blind want, with his glory. I don't have it. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder of his voice. Yes, that's love. And yes, and I can see you eyeing let those who dwell here in his favored land attend now to the work. Well, goddamn. You're new, right? Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Well, Moriarty thinks he is. But Lucas Sims is the law around here, and everyone knows it. <laughs> well, there's this and that. I keep myself busy. But really, that's none of your business, is it? What's to tell? We're alive, so we've got nothing to complain about, right? And hell, I've got a restaurant, so... I have it better than most. Hey, I'm not much of a mudslinger. I don't like to spread stuff around, you know what I mean? Everybody has their secrets. Let's keep them that way. No problem, buddy. Sure thing, my man. Talk to you later, buddy. Leo's a nice guy. A bit twitchy, but nice. Look, I need to balance these books. If you'd like to order some food, please talk to Jenny or Leo. Okay, tough guy. Say what's on your mind. Outside of Megaton? Any place other than here sounds like heaven to me. Fuck this place. If it weren't for you wasteland types coming through with your caps, I'd be out of here in a second. Assuming that I could convince Jenny and Leo. It's a hole. A dead end. So why do I stay? Well... It's a hole that makes me money. Moriarty pisses in his still. Crazy bastard thinks it's hilarious. Besides, you'll get your throat cut in that pit. You're much better off here. Hey, maybe I'll put that on the sign out front. The Brass Lantern. Cleaner, safer, and less likely to have piss in the drinks. Whatever. This place is so much better than Moriarty's. That place is just filled with scum. Come forth and drink the waters of the glow. For this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. It is the very symbol of Atom's glory. Let it serve as a reminder of the division that has occurred in the past and the resplendence of the promise of our division. I'm Doc Church and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. I have to say, of all the rat-infested hellholes that I've lived in, this one is the least hellish.
A doctor doesn't talk about his patients. At least not to strangers, he doesn't. Yeah, sorry. I don't think so. All right. I suppose someone with medical training has to have at least a bit of compassion. And maybe you can talk some sense into the boy. Leo Stahl. That boy got himself a problem with Jet. I've caught him in here two to three times trying to steal what I keep around for anesthetic. Not even his own family knows it. He goes up to the water treatment plant at night to get high. I don't know. I can't reach him. Maybe you can. I'm the town doc. If it's cut, I sew it up. If it's infected, I cut it off. Planning on going out and getting shot up, eh? Yeah, bye. Someone might see us. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? I'm pretty sure I remember a girl coming into town with that about 10, 12 years ago. She didn't know a thing about the wastes, and I knew she'd get herself hurt without some sort of protection. So I offered to armor her vault suit. Never saw her again. Probably died out there, poor thing. In a way, she gave me the idea to write this book. It's yours, if you help. Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Let's see, dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and 
I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Oh, uh, caps, chems, meds, and maybe even a few unique inventions, if you do a good job. I'm sure I've got something that'll catch your eye. With a little ingenuity, you can turn a pile of junk into a mountain of caps. And there's no shortage of junk. So, will you help out? All right, then. Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Hopefully, you'll be finding food and medicine. But I could sweeten the deal by paying more food when you get back, regardless of the results. While you're away, I can at least search through my junk and see if there's anything that'll go with old food to make it more appetizing. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Oh, I couldn't do that. It'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. Besides, it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone. Live and let live, right? Sure thing. I'm an open book. What do you want to know? Oh, I haven't got nearly the experience in the waste that you do. If I tried half of these things, I'd get my head blown off. <laughs> at least you look like you can really handle yourself out there. All I'm good at is coming up with the ideas and fiddling with junk for caravans. I know, right? I figured instead of just helping out the caravans with odd junk, why not put my brilliant mind to work for everyone? And between my mind and your experience, this guide will save a dozen times more lives than those greedy merchants will. That's the spirit, trusty research assistant. Have fun out there, okay? Leave me out of that girl's crazy experiments. I don't get paid enough for that.
Ah, come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. You want thing. something? I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Stupid radio. Work. Come on, work. Wait, is that... Damn it. Hell of a day, isn't it? I... Well, hot damn. Someone new. Always a pleasure. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. All I know is that I spent too much time out there, and beyond that, I ain't gonna talk about it. Megaton is the best little town you'll find in the Capital Wasteland. Don't let anyone tell you different. Strong walls, strong people, and strong booze. We've got everything you need to make a life these days. Me? I deal with the caravan suppliers. I used to ride with those guys, so they cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. Of course, she's getting a little old to have Billy looking over her shoulder all the time. People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. And I'm not worried. No reason it'd pick now to go down for good. Would it? Easy, man. Oh, you work. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Hmm, I'd love to spend time with you, too. Look, uh, I can help you. Get into the back office of this place. Moriarty keeps a terminal there. Everything you want is inside the terminal. Here's the password to it. Too bad you're so young, kid. I could teach you some stuff you'd never forget. Well, for you, a room and some company will run you 120 caps. Up front. Okay, then. Who, Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. With Gob? <laughs> well, he's sweet, and, and I know that he'd like to. It's just, well, I don't want to sound shallow or anything. I mean, I'm a whore. My standards aren't exactly high. But there are places even I won't go. Johnnies that are squishier than me are one of them. He don't talk about it much. But apparently, there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times, but other than that, he won't really say. He's been here for, oh, 
I guess about fifteen years now, ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. Well, the miserable bastard is hard on all of us, but Gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know? Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? It takes you renting a room. Sleep in it or don't. I don't care. I get paid either way. Huh? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C., but the signal went down a while ago. You serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. Take care of yourself, hun. Just God give it up, idiot. Gob. You're not you going want something to or are you anything? just looking to get your ass beat? Got something on your mind? No, but... Welcome to... Hey, smooth skin. Do you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Haven't you ever seen a ghoul before? Well, not all of us got the chance to hole up in a nice cushy vault when the bombs fell. A bunch of us got stuck out here in the world and got a full-on blast of heat and radiation. Turned us into a pack of walking corpses. Near as I can tell, we age slower than you. A lot slower. There were even a few ghouls that were alive during the war. Of course, with a face like ground Brahmin meat, you can imagine that folks don't take too kindly to us. Nice of you to say so. If you can't be nice, at least pretend, right? Fake it till you make it and all that. Still, though, a fake compliment is better than the usual spit in the face that I get. You're not half bad for a smooth skin. Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Sorry, smooth skin. I can't take the risk. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me for even talking to you. Hello there, honey. Oh, man. I'm glad to see you. Moriarty's been especially nasty lately, and I need a friendly face. A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune, and, well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld... Tell Carol that I said hi. Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. 
If only I was a part of that instead of being stuck in this dive. Sure thing. See you soon. Hey, Pearl, what do you need? I can't talk about that anymore. Maria. I can't talk about that anymore. Moriarty will beat me again if I do. Anything for you, friend. See you soon, drunkie. Come back soon. Do you want something or are you just looking to get your ass beat? What's shaking? Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps... I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of D.C. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me? I could care less. The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lad. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Stay the fuck out of me business. Don't go where you don't belong and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. I keep these yokels knee-deep in booze and poon. They keep me knee-deep in caps. It's a fair trade, if you ask me. I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Don't let me keep you. 
What's the matter? Never seen a good... Ah, my new friend. What can I get you? Some sorters are best buried, and I'm a man that can provide all sorts of tools to bury them. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well you stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped, oh, five years back. All hail the overseer, we're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not, and yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. And, like any commodity, it must be sold at a reasonable market price. So, what's reasonable? Let's say, oh, a hundred caps, and daddy's location's yours. All right, kid. Then I guess there's nothing else we have to say to each other. Come back to me when you have the caps and we'll talk. Hold the f And back he comes. So, are you just thirsty? Or are you ready to pay me fee? Dear Dad's not going to find himself. You got memory problems, kid? You ain't getting something for nothing. So pony up the 300 caps and then we'll talk. I did say it was 100 caps, and as I recall, you said no. So now, I'm saying it's 300 caps. What'll you say this time? Well, I suppose it was. All right, because I'm such a... Your dad came through here all right. Didn't stay long, though. Said he had some important business to attend to and headed off to the city. Something to do with Galaxy News Radio... Guess that'd be the place for you to start. Good hunting, and thanks for the caps. It's like I said, kid. Your dad was here for a bit, but didn't stay long. Said he was going to the Galaxy News radio station, southeast in D.C. And for... Ah, my new... Your father let ah. ah I see you Ah kid <laughs> oh, oh kid ah, I'll let that one go. Chalk it up to youthful arrogance. Listen carefully. 
I don't know what Shatter Sims told you, but this is my town. Sims, he's a facade. An illusion of order I allow to exist. I was slinging drinks and killing raiders here in Megaton when the good sheriff was just an idiot kid with cowboy fantasies. Raise a hand to me and you'll never leave this town alive. Now as for your dad, a hundred caps and I sing. <laughs> Will you? <laughs> well, good luck with that. So far as I know, I'm the only one your dad told where he was going. So, when you change your mind, come see me. I'm usually at the saloon. A hundred caps. Daddy wouldn't think twice if it were you out there. No quarter will be given. I'm out of here. Look what we have here. Where? 